Welcome to this SwageLock how-to video. Here's what you'll need to perform the procedure shown in this brief video. Two open-ended wrenches, scissors or a straight edge cutter, gloves are recommended, a side load installation tool is optional. SwageLock VCR metal gasket face seal fittings offer the high purity of a metal to metal seal providing leak-tight service from vacuum to positive pressure when you follow these installation instructions. Please note that this video does not replace the hands-on training and certification programs available through your authorized SwageLock representative. One typical VCR assembly is comprised of a body, a gasket, gland, and female nut. The standard internal surface finish on glands and bodies is a roughness average of 10 micro inches or 0.25 micro RA. The gaskets are precision manufactured for maximum performance, while the female nut threads are silver plated to prevent galling and to ensure easy, consistent performance. First, connect the tube stub end of the gland and a nut to the system. This could be accomplished by welding or in cases the mating end is a valve end connection. The VCR installation completes the connection. Now we will install the gasket. The method depends on the gasket type and material. Retainer gasket, side load retainer gasket, or non-retained gasket. The text on the bag containing the new gasket will be blue for stainless steel and black for nickel. Other gasket material options include copper and aluminum. To install a retainer gasket, open the bag containing the new gasket. Use the clips of the gasket to place the gasket on the male end. It will snap or click into place. Align the body and the gland face on the female nut end. Tighten the female nut finger tight onto the body. VCR components with fixed threads must remain stationary during installation. These connections should be assembled only to glands with rotating male or female threaded nuts. Use the wrenches to further tighten the nut according to gland type. Remember to stabilize the system connection to prevent rotation. To install a side load retainer gasket, either open the bag containing the new gasket or use the optional side load installation tool to remove a gasket from the tray. Slide the gasket onto the male end of the side. It will snap or click into place. Tighten the female nut finger tight onto the body. Use the wrenches to further tighten the nut according to gland type. Remember to stabilize the system connection to prevent rotation. To install a non-retained gasket, open the bag containing the new gasket. Place the gasket into the female nut. If the gasket is not flat, the nut will not thread properly. Tighten the female nut finger tight onto the body. The threads will engage up to the last thread if the gasket is installed properly. Use the wrenches to further tighten the nut according to gland type. Remember to stabilize the system connection to prevent rotation. Female nuts used with stainless steel and nickel gaskets of all three gasket types should be rotated 1 8 of a turn or 45 degrees. Female nuts used with copper and aluminum gaskets should be rotated 1 quarter turn or 90 degrees. It is important to follow proper assembly techniques to ensure good performance, including thermal and vibration resistance and minimal transmitted and residual torque. Refer to swagelock.com and the product literature for additional information. Thank you for watching. We will continue to develop videos like this to help you get the job done. Get more information by watching our other videos or contacting your authorized sales and service center.